MMA here, man. I'm back with another one, man. Today, this is another episode of Jay's Rundown, where I give y'all the latest combat sports news in under 30 minutes, man. First off, I just want to say, man, I'm a man of my word, and I made a bet with TMA Pressy that I would dye my hair. Here's a picture on the screen. I dyed my fucking hair. If Kayla Plant was to lose... I would dye my hair, so just want to put that out there. I'm not taking off my fucking do rag, cause no, we're not doing it. The do rag stays on its trademark. But uh, I dye my hair. Shout out to Pressy, man. But anyway, I'm still kind of down about it, cause I really want to kill up the win. But anyway, man, let's get right into it. UFC 268, man. Um, first off, Weili Zhang Zhang beat uh, Rose Namunis. Sorry to say it, 49-46 on the last judge's scorecard. It was completely bullshit, which means that they gave uh, Wei Li, they gave Wei Li only one round, which is complete bullshit. Uh, well, yeah, that's basically like saying they gave her one round. So they gave Rose a 10-8, and he only gave Wei Li one round. So it, it's kind of fucked up. Um, I and then the main event I had it a draw. Uh, the going into the fifth, it was 39-38. Considering that Usman got a 10-8 uh, in the second round, even though he did get a 10-8, I feel like Kobe won the fifth, which would have made it 48-48, which then concludes to a draw. Again, 49-46 was completely bullshit in that fight. I don't know who that judge was, and it was that last judge in both fights that scored the fight, 49-46. So I don't know who decided to do something like that, but uh, yeah, no, 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 no. We, we don't do that, so whoever that judge is really shouldn't be judged. I wouldn't say don't judge again, but don't let them judge another major MMA or boxing event. Just don't let them do it, all right? Then we get on to the Frankie Edgar and Cheeto Vera fight. The fight was going good for very well for Frankie. Frankie was looking good, mixing, you know, mixing up, going to the head, going to the body, wrestling, classic Frankie, but Cheeto Vera stayed patient enough. And then the third round, he got a front kick KO, Steven Seagal style. Pretty much ended Frankie. He was talking, to, now what I didn't like was he was talking a heap of shit to frankie and as y'all know frankie's a nice guy frankie doesn't trash talk he, he really does that's not frankie egger and for cheeto vera to do that just shows me what character he has i really i kind of was a cheeto fan i was kind of like bouncing in and out but now i'm not a cheeto fan I, I don't like cheeto i don't like i'm not tuning in you know itching for a cheeto fight if he's on a card obviously i'm gonna watch it but it's not like oh my goodness cheeto's fighting i gotta hurry up and go watch it i'm not doing that no we don't the hood don't like Cheeto Vera <laughs> um then we get into the next fight which was Shane Burger Burgos and uh I'm trying to think Shane Burgos and Billy Quarantillo uh shout out to my guy Billy Q Bane's MMA guy that, that that's his guy um uh Billy um i just don't think he's ready for that 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 type of competition yet billy still needs to you know build up get his skills ready i really don't think he's ready for someone like shane burgos who's really i won't say in his prime but he's pretty much ready to make a run at featherweight i don't think billy cornetillo is pretty much ready for that yet i think a couple of more fights he learns from this one and if he looks good i think he'll be ready i just think sure and shane burgos was too much for him uh the, the pressure not the pressure pretty much the, the clean and crisp boxing that shane burgos had the leg kicks just man, it was beautiful i do think in that third round shane burgos slowed down tremendously billy's had a lot of success if that fight was five rounds i probably would have went billy billy's more of a volume pressure guy more like a kobe covington without the wrestling so and without the uh he has billy has a lot of technique i'm not gonna say he doesn't have technique it's wild but he has his technique behind it so yeah shout out to both of those guys shane burgos he is at 14 right now i would love to see shane burgos if um excuse me if edson doesn't have another fight i would like to see edson and shane burgos running back or shane burgos versus uh bryce mitchell doug nasty so i would like to see that fight as well or maybe shane burgos uh andre philly who knows but i like to see that shout out to both of those guys in the fight of the night in my opinion which was michael chandler and justin gaethje from start to finish 
by far the best fight I've seen this year hands down i don't think anybody's going to dispute that that is the best fight i've seen this year outside of Oliveira and chandler the Oliveira and chandler comes very close that was the best fight i've seen this year by far uh, nah I'm, I'm giving uh the second round of Oliveira chandler the best round of the year but that fight uh, man that was fight of the year um that fight from start to finish was good chandler was looking very good in the first round justin gaethje looking very good in the second round third round was pretty i would say it was even but gaethje edged that out pretty much but um i thought michael chandler would come in with a very wrestle heavy game plan he did wrestle but it was pretty much at the time where he was tired he wasn't like as fresh he was shooting because he was hurt so um he hurt he was still hurting justin gaethje and one of the most badass moments i've ever seen and as long as i've been covering mma the only thing that would come close to something like this, Max Holloway versus Ricardo Lamas, Ian Kutubala versus uh, Jerry Cannonier, and I say Diego Sanchez versus uh, Gilbert Melendez and Diego Sanchez versus Clay Guida, I believe it was. Michael Chandler walked down one of the most powerful strikers in the lightweight division with his hands down, took a punch backed up and then still walked him down with his hands was saying come on we still got time point towards the clock the digital clock that the fighters and coaches can see Whew. michael chandler's stock went up even though he lost his stock went up uh, i don't think he should move down in rankings i don't think he will justin gaethje is next for a title shot islam mahavchak should fight benil but uh gaethje gets the winner of dustin chandler I mean Dustin and Oliveira, so that would be a great fight. Um, so yeah, man. Uh, Justin Gaethje, nice leg kicks. Uh, he, Chandler took a lot of facial damage, but he did very well. I, I believe if he would have came out wrestling, he would have won the fight. Justin Gaethje showed great takedown defense. Even though I do think Chandler wasn't the freshest, he took a lot of damage at that point to the point where he was wrestling, but nonetheless justin gaethje uh won and just a couple of more fights i want to go over uh alex Pereira, uh who trains with gullah chexera most known for the guy who's beat israel adesanya uh not ko'd him in a uh, kickboxing the best kickboxer in the world right now in my humble opinion and many others opinion he's the best kickboxer in the world came out first round displayed some great takedown defense he did get taken down he scrambled he crawled back to his uh to the cage got his ass back up and pretty much denied the takedowns and a dude weared himself he was working so hard to try to get the takedown he fucking drained himself out and you know you know alex is a huge guy so he was working pretty hard it comes out in the second round and gets fucking double flying gets flying he ends the fight Alex Pereira is the real deal y'all I think he's gonna have a lot of success in the UFC especially with Govacek Stera the UFC lightweight light heavyweight champion in his corner he's gonna have a ton of fucking success so we'll see what he does next another fight I like was Chris Barnett versus Gian, <laughs> uh, Gian Vellante Chris Barnett comes out <laughs> he's jigging and shit you know what I'm saying comes out we all know Chris Barnett has crazy kicks for the, the size and stature of him he has crazy kicks spinning heel kicks him edson barbosa style gets the win uh, another fight that i enjoyed excuse me I'm trying to remember what fight it was uh, it wasn't the edmund fight it was the fight right before that all right after phil halls phil hayes phil halls versus uh curtis amazing fight phil halls is a very technical clean striker he just got caught he made one mistake against curtis who has a shit ton of power and he paid for it and ultimately lost the fight he will be back also ian gary made his uh debut ufc against uh i'm an island boy jordan williams jordan williams looked fantastic he again he as well made one mistake got countered by ian gary nice pullback conor mcgregor style got hit that kid is going to be special in the welterweight division mark my words ian gary will be he's going to make a mark dude is very nice uh but yeah that was my pretty much the rundown for ufc 268 i enjoyed the card let me know down below in the comments what y'all think it's a move on 
to the thing I've been dreading the most. Caleb Plant lost. As I said before, um, I lost a team. I lost a bet to TMA Pressy. <laughs> had to dye my hair i put it on the screen again i had to dye my hair i'm keeping this do-rag on i'm not taking the shit off i dyed my hair um caleb plant was looking good he did what i expected him to do a lot of people talking about a fifth round and ninth round uh caleb plant is game he has a chin uh caleb plant did what i expected him to do dance around with jab cut another whoop trade at moments but get in and out he was in my opinion I, uh, let me tell y'all my official scorecards. I had Caleb Plant winning two, three, four, five. I had him winning six rounds. I had six three going up into the into the uh, tenth, but I really didn't score after a tenth or eleventh round because I was watching Rose and Waylee. It's kind of hard to watch two fights that I'm very interested in at the same time. So um, a lot of judges had it. The official scorecards was like 94, 92, 97. It, it, it was some crazy shit. They didn't even have Caleb Plant close to winning. They only had Caleb Plant winning three rounds. All three judges, which is insane. But we let, enough about Caleb Plant. Canelo Alvarez, the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, becomes super the undisputed super middleweight champion. Shout out to Canelo. Um, he said he's gonna take a break, come back in May, the weekend of Cinco de Mayo, pretty much, and he's gonna fight again. He, he said he's gonna take some time off, come back in January, talk with his team, see you, see what he wants to do. Canelo Alvarez, he's that guy. He's number one pound for pound for a reason. Um, experience won Canelo to fight. Not, not. It's not like Canelo's. He, uh, let me let me rephrase that. Canelo was he 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 was strug he was struggling at moments, but experience allowed him to adjust and find the. To find, get the KO that he needed to get just pure veteran shit Caleb Plant doesn't have that experience now that he does coming into the fight a lot of people say Caleb Plant didn't fight anybody which I I can you can make a case for that I, I tend to agree with you um he didn't fight anybody and for him to go in and do what he did against Canelo Alvarez I've been seeing he's game I haven't seen any Caleb Plant slander as far as far as I'm concerned um Caleb Plant lost I'm taking an L like a man y'all I was wrong I was wrong he didn't beat Caleb he didn't beat Canelo he did do what I thought he was gonna do that I thought was gonna win him the fight uh I didn't expect him to get KO'd I'm gonna be honest with you but just the sheer damage you, you can see canelo was cracking him and can caleb shrugged it off but no chin is that fucking strong it's all about conditioning as well now, a lot of y'all don't know that it's really about conditioning what keeps a fighter up keeps the equilibrium on keeps their chin you know intact things like that conditioning plays a part in that um caleb platt sadly uh didn't hold up and got ko'd in the 11th round so shout out to canelo this was just a great m night of of fights and uh y'all can hear a hurt in my voice man i really don't want to talk about this man i really want to kill up the wind but um shout out to canelo once again he's the number one pound for pound next weekend is uh november 13th we got yair uh max holloway and I believe we have another fight, if I'm not mistaken. Then a weekend after that. Is it the weekend after or the week? Is it Thanksgiving weekend? Thanksgiving weekend, we got Sean Porter, uh, Terrence Crawford. So I'm looking forward to that fight as well. But anyway, man, let's move on to something interesting. I want to talk about just two little interesting subjects, y'all. Um, This one right here. So Dan Raphael post on Twitter talking about... uh pretty much purchase for the ufc events and uh boxing events and pretty much we gotta stop talking about this y'all I'm, I'm i'm tired of saying this y'all can read i'm I, I, we can read it uh the canelo main event combined guaranteeing 50 million 40 million for canelo 10 million for plant with the entire ufc card combined purse i imagine a tiny fraction of that Dan Raphael is a reporter, a boxing reporter, and this is why the boxing and MMA debate will never be settled because of motherfuckers like him. He's a reporter tweeting like tweeting his shit out like a fanboy. So um, I really, he has fucking the boxing guy per Conor McGregor in his fucking whatever. I I, I don't like this debate. I quote tweeted this, and I want to show y'all a picture. Hold on, let me go to it. Uh, I quote tweeted this. Where is it at? I quote tweeted this, y'all. Let me see. 
I might. All right, here we go, y'all. I quote tweeted this, and I said, uh, "This is why the debate between both sports will never end. Let them be great sports, which is true. The UFC is more popular, yet boxing pays more." that which is true again so just leave it at that boxing pays more ufc is more popular i don't think anyone is going to disagree with that it wasn't a ufc fighter wait on a boxing main event to end remember that y'all remember that every time y'all bring up this fucking debate remember that all right just want to say that uh i'm just gonna zoom in on my camera because i'm actually gonna do the outro and and i'm gonna uh talk about some esbc news we didn't get any esbc news unfortunately against for uh for the kayla plant and canelo fight um i don't i don't know if this is nda so i kind of don't want to say it I, i'm not gonna say it because i'm not sure but i want to say what i want to say i right? I'm not sure I, I i don't know i'll ask them and i'll probably just like clip it in if, if they say i can say it i'll just clip it in it's nothing too special it's not like nothing groundbreaking like i know the release date or anything no, it's not like that it's just that i had a meet yeah I, I, if i'll cut this part out if they say i can say it i had a meeting with the devs and we talked well i you know we still uh, you know fuck it. i don't think this is the indie i talk i talk with the devs i this past week i talked with the devs we had a great conversation about the game where the game is at i asked them a couple of questions they asked me a lot of questions i answered them they answered my questions with great detail very great detail and uh yeah man i'm i'm more now i'm, I'm even more confident in the esbc than i was before but we didn't get any esbc news man um we'll be dropping some esbc content this week probably two to three videos so y'all look out for that but yeah man uh, we got this done shit damn and not record time this is probably the second fastest i've gotten a jay's rundown done i believe but let me know what y'all think about every event that we talked about down below in the comments man it's been your boy jmma man this was another episode of jay's rundown man like comment subscribe if you're new join the family join the gang man and yeah man until next time man peace love and prosperity love every single one of y'all man y'all enjoy y'all sunday man be with y'all family man remember man tomorrow isn't promise man wake up thank god man and just have a great day man see y'all next time man peace love prosperity love every single one of y'all man roll to 1.1k it's your boy jmma and remember do something productive with your day it's no november so remember beating your meat is not productive it's not productive man see y'all next time man it's your boy and i'm out man peace